Good evening, friends and family, and thank you for coming to my graduation party. It's an achievement that I thought I would never accomplish, and I'm so happy to have obtained my bachelor's degree, but also to be celebrating that with you here today. I wanted to say a few words about my journey that led me to this accomplishment. I began my college career in 2005 when I was still a junior in high school. I have attended college off and on over the last two decades, and so I'm somewhat of an expert when it comes to attending higher education. It's falsely believed that college requires a high level of cognitive function and predisposition to being intelligent. Although it is helpful to be intelligent, intellect is not enough on its own to get you a bachelor's degree. I found that intelligence actually had little to do with my success as a college student. I'm here to tell you that although college can be challenging, it's impossible to achieve your goals of obtaining a degree if you can attain certain skills early on. I believe the sooner you learn, learn these skills, the easier your college journey will be. The real success to completing college lies in one's ability to be persistent, well-disciplined, and committed to the journey of learning. First, I'll discuss what persistence is and why it can help. Then I'll talk about how being self-disciplined contributed to my success as a student. Finally, I'll talk about why being committed to the journey of learning is an important lifelong skill to have. Persistence can help navigate the challenges of higher education. Loosely defined, persistence is the ability to keep moving on through difficult challenges. For me, that was filling in the gaps of my learning. I found that oftentimes there were things that I just didn't understand, especially when returning to college after a long break. It would have been really easy for me to quit, but instead I managed to utilize the resources to help me understand what I was missing out on and to be able to pursue my dreams. Persistence helps to over overcome obstacles, but it's not the only key to success. Another key to success is the ability to become self-disciplined. Time management is crucial when it comes to self-discipline. There's never a good time to do schoolwork, so it always has to be now. You also have to always follow through with the tasks that you need to do. It can be incredibly challenging, but being disciplined about your work is the best way to be successful. My lack of self-discipline was a major factor as to why completing college took longer for me, but it's not the main reason I struggled to complete my degree. Staying committed to the journey of education is an essential part of the recipe to success. You'll find oftentimes that it's really easy to quit when you're met with challenges. I had terrible grades, I had failed many classes, and it would have been understandable, understandable if I had just decided to not do it any longer. But I found that being committed was the only way to get through it, and it starts with small steps. So each day, I completed the activities I needed to, and I didn't look too far ahead. I just stayed committed to learning and moving on. Being persistent, self-disciplined, and committed to the journey of education are the three main ways I achieve success with my degree program after setting out to do so 15 years ago. I believe these three traits can not only make one successful in college, but in anything you set out to do. I likely won't be prepared for many of the challenges I face in my professional and even my personal life. However, if I've learned anything in my nearly 17 years of trying to complete my goal of a bachelor's degree, it's this. Persistence, discipline, and commitment have gotten me farther than any amount of natural intelligence I've possessed. In fact, it's the only reason I've achieved this goal. So when you feel challenged, remember, you can do anything if you give yourself the right tools early on. This degree is living proof of that. Thank you all for coming and cheers to whatever comes next.